Online banking apps are becoming more popular. Some offer lower fees than traditional banks. However, they're becoming a popular target for scammers. A Pendleton woman contacted WRTV Investigates Kara Kenny after she lost $1,300. It lets you move your money around and it can keep track and help you make your payments on time. Yvonne St. Clair started using the Chime banking app last fall when she started a new job. Some people were telling me that it was a really good way to build your credit score. And so I went with them, even though I have a bank that I've been with for 11 years. The Pendleton woman says she got an alert from Chime that stated she made a $77 purchase on Amazon, a purchase she didn't make. She disputed the charge. Well, I didn't hear anything for a couple of days, and I thought, well, I, I, I need to call. Yvonne Googled and found what she thought was Chime's customer service number. The guy answered, thank you for calling Chime, you know, and I told him what happened. He said, oh, well, you know, there are uh, some other things. People are trying to get, you recognize someone trying to get $1,200 out of your account. And he said, so let's track them down. And I followed that hook, line, and sinker. He had me to, to, to go to this. Yvonne says the representative had her download an app that allowed them to remotely access her phone and transfer money to several different email addresses. The amount of fraud on your account was about $1,200? $1,340. Wow, that's yeah. a good chunk of money. Yeah, it is. Yeah, when you're on Social Security, it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yvonne contacted WRTV Investigates. We did some checking and found scammers are also posing as Chime customer service representatives on social media as well. The company told us, regardless of who you bank with, you should always call the number on the back of your card to speak with a legitimate representative. We also spoke with the Financial Technology Association, a trade organization that represents digital financial institutions. Chime is a member. We are seeing a rise as fraudsters, scamsters are getting more sophisticated. Can you think of any situation where um, a banking app is going to ask you to install some type of app onto your phone? No, they aren't. It is in their interest to protect the consumer. So they're not asking you to go through hoops and bells and whistles. Basically, they're trying to take control of your phone, right? Yeah, they're trying to take control. They're trying to take control of your credentials. No fintech app, no banking app, no financial institution uh, is going to be asking you to download a third party to then verify, to then transfer over. In a similar scam, you get a text message or phone call claiming to be from Chime. Here's how to avoid getting taken. Look for misspellings in any messages. Call Chime using the number on the back of your card. Never give out your PIN or other personal information unless you're sure who you're talking to. If you think your account has been compromised, change your passwords immediately. I was just felt really foolish, you know. Yvonne St. Clair says she did initially try the number on the back of her Chime card, but couldn't get through at first. She did eventually get a hold of the company and says she got her $1,300 back. If anything sounds odd, you know, just hang up. Just hang up the phone, which is what my gut was telling me to do, but I did not listen. Kara Kenny, WRTV.